Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you the Itsy Ritsy Mini, their newer collection. Um, this is their color Cognac, and as you can see, it's super pretty. Um, you'll have to excuse my bedroom lighting, but this was my only time to film today, and I'm also kind of quiet because I have a sleeping baby right there, so um, I'm going to try to do the best that I can. Um, Again, this is going to be on the Itsy Ritsy Cognac Mini. Um, and I used to have their regular, I mean, their mini also in black, but I had gotten rid of that one and I'll tell you a few reasons why as we get into the bag later on. But I'm also going to be packing it and I'm going to be packing it with everything that is in my Lily Jade Caroline bag. Um, you can see this one is way larger and I am an overpacker so we're gonna see what fits in here from here if everything fits or if something fits we'll see I'm not sure I haven't done it yet so we're gonna see together all right let's get into it so um, this bag um, I wasn't gonna get it again because like I said I had gotten rid of my black one and um, a couple of the reasons why I got rid of the black one was um, the bottle pockets were not very functional. They um, were a little bit more, I would say like flat to the bag and had like zero give to them. So I couldn't really utilize them for bottle pockets or, you know, water bottle or anything. And another reason was um, their backpack straps. They were just not comfortable. These little metal pieces would hit like in a odd spot and it would like hurt. So um, I didn't like that. Since then, they have came out with newer minis. Um, I think they came out with Coffee and Cream Mini and their Cognac Mini. And um, I had heard that their pockets seemed bigger and so far I believe that to be true. That that to be the case. These just seem and look like they're bigger. Um, I liked this color a lot more. Um, I mean black is always great but this color really popped out to me and then um, their backpack straps didn't seem to change so we'll see when I put this on how I'm liking them. Are they the same or did they change? We'll see. Um, okay, so let's get into the bag. Um, if you're not familiar with Itsy Ritsy or their mini bag, I will link their website in the bio and you could check all their products out. They have amazing products. I'm a big fan of Itsy Ritsy. Um, I love their boss bags. I have a coffee and cream boss bag that's just permanent. I don't think I'll ever get rid of that bag just because I love how big it is and I have a video on that. Um, and then they have these mini bags. They have clutches. They have snack bags. They have everything. So please check them out. They're a wonderful, great company. Very sweet people who work there. Um, but yeah, so the mini caught my eye. It's in this gorgeous cognac color. I really love the like marbling in it. I love that the name is cognac because it truly looks like that like it would be a cognac color um, it has gold hardware and um, it has a mommy pocket here we'll get into the inside it has a great grab handle I like this type of grab handle like right on top versus um, like a loop handle back here I love this type of grab handle so I love that it has two D rings right here and then it has the bottle pocket on each side it doesn't have any insulated um, bottle pockets and then it has their signature feet so um, it's a basically a rubber bottom which I think is amazing I think that they're the only company that I've seen so far that has this rubber like bottom it's great it's so great and um, yeah let's jump into packing it so um, I'm gonna open it up so you guys can see the zippers go all the way down and they're very very smooth when you open it up, it has this mesh pocket right here on the front flap, and it has um, the mesh pocket, slip pocket back here, and then it has two um, stretch pockets right here on the side. So 
I haven't packed it up yet. I haven't really messed with it too much. It's just been sitting there and I've just been staring at how pretty it is. <laughs> um, it comes with this pretty uh, matching um, changing mat. It has their logo right here flat to the, to the mat. And it's a very good size, as you can see. It's very large. It's soft on this side and it has that faux leather on this side. And I really, really love their changing mats. I'm a big fan of their changing mats because they're super thin and they don't take up too much space. I believe that the change mat is meant to go back in this pocket. That's where it comes when when um, you get the bag. But I'm not going to put it there. And I'll show you later on where I put it and what I use that pocket for. Um, the, while I'm back here, the pocket goes all, the, all across the bag. Up and down and across. So it's a very large, great pocket. Okay, so in my Lily Jade, it is fully packed up. I am an overpacker, and um, I not only have one Baby Bum Co pouch in here, I have two. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. I have um, this one as a diaper clutch, and I have this one as a mom bag. But what I think I'm gonna do in order to um, pack this up with everything that I need yet utilize the space better is I'm not going to put this Bumco pouch in there. I'm only gonna use this one as my mom bag. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use like a, it's not that much smaller, but it's a little bit more compact clutch. So it's the same thing. I used a Baby Bum Co. refillable pouch in here. This is a really cute um, wipey pouch that I got from a really kind mama. She sent it to me with um, as a free gift with the bag that I ordered. And I love it. It's so cute because I really love the leopard. It's kind of like a soft nylon material. I think that's what it is. Really cute. So I like I said, I put a refillable um, Baby Bum Co. pouch wipe refillable white pouch in there. I have two diapers, I have a trash baggie, and then I have a change of clothes for my four-year-old. So a really great size bag, but not as big and bulky as the bum coat. So I'm gonna stick that. Let's see, let's get into packing it. Um, as you can see, this bag, I believe it's best used for um, pouch packing. That's just my opinion, plus I pouch pack anyway. Just because when you open it, it does this flap does come all the way down and your stuff might fall out if you just have it in there. So here's my mom bag. Like I said, um, this is an itsy ritzy tag, by the way, they have, they're called tidy tags. They sell them on their website and they're super cute. They say like diapers, mama, first aid, snacks, and it goes really cute with this bag. Um, I just have my mom stuff in there and in the white pouch part, I have makeup wipes for my face. So. I'm gonna stick that in there as well. Kind of just, I'm gonna just mess with it and see what's gonna work for me as I go, as I pack it. Um, I just really wanted to see like if I can fit because it's super roomy and it's it's deceiving. Like it doesn't look like it would fit a lot, but it really does. So um, I just wanted to see if everything I have in my large diaper bag would fit in here. Um, I have a snack tower for my little one filled with goldfish. I'm just gonna stick that on the inside um, inside a stretchy pocket. It's pretty slim, so it shouldn't take up too much room. I carry her Contigo water bottle. I'm gonna put that on the outside, the same side as the um, as the snack tower. Let's see if I can. You know what? I don't think it's gonna maneuver itself in there. So I'll put that on this side. So that fits pretty well, and that's a thick cup. Um, I have an itsy ritzy small pouch with just like little snacks and candies and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick that down in this front mesh flap. And then I also have a little first aid kit. I'm gonna stick that down in the mesh flap as well. Just, they're kind of just, um, layered on top of each other. Like I said, I might adjust things as I go along just to see what's gonna work best. And then I have a little Jujube, um, what is it? It's 
small set piece with their little silly lids. Um, let's see. I actually, I don't need my mom bag. So let's just take that out because if I was gonna use this realistically, I wouldn't bring this whole thing. I'd probably bring just a small set piece with my stuff. So let's take that out for a minute. So I still have my um, my changing clutch. And then I'll stick the small set piece back here in this mesh pocket. Um, I also have some boogie wipes that I keep in this little um, wipey pouch. I'm gonna put that in this front pocket it has a little like lid lip right here so you have more room up here so like if something's a little bit taller than this pocket it'll still fit because you still have a little bit of give up here so my wipey pouch fit in there and I like to have it accessible because when they have boogies you need to be able to reach it right away I'll put the tissue in there as well and then what else do I have in here um, I just have my pens and my little notebook and those can easily go right back here as well in that little mesh pocket perfectly see so um you can see that i packed that's pretty much everything that i have in my um in my lily j bag i have oh, i have a little coin purse and um and gum that will fit in this front pocket as well. I just gotta stand these up and that all fits fine in there. It zips up, has these really neat um, pull tabs, really long pull tabs, which I like. What else, what else, what else is in this large bag? That's pretty much it. Okay, so this is what my um, cell phone looks like. It's an 8 plus. So I would just probably, if I wanted to, either toss that on the side or throw it in here somewhere. Um, it has a little wristlet, so sometimes I just carry it on my wrist. I don't really need to throw it in my bag. Um, just for reference as well, here's a tablet. It's a Kindle Fire, I believe, that you could slip in the back mesh pocket or you could have it just like that or the front mesh pocket. So it still has room. Um, if you wanted to maybe put a little like it's my daughter's little hoodie that would fit right in there as well so I'll put that in there just for reference to show you like what all fits um, surprisingly everything that was in my Lily J bag fit very well in this bag the only thing that I didn't put in was my mom pouch and this is you know like a bumco pouch and it's really large it has all my stuff in there so like I said I don't need that it's just basically like my wallet oh my wallet I probably need my wallet so let's show you my wallet my wallet's super slim it's gonna fit anywhere I toss it um, and some lotion so let's, see. let's take out this sweater and I'll show you my wallet and my oh not really I don't need my planner because I have my little um notebook but some lotion that will fit in there as well so that's basically the most important things in my little mom bag. Okay, now on this back side of the Lily J uh, bag, I carry these things. My play pack for my girls so they could color, a reusable shopping bag, and then this little drawing board just to keep them entertained when we're gone. So on all the bags, that have a back pocket like this, which is a very big bonus for me. Um, that's where I usually store these things. And they're pretty flat, so they shouldn't... Um, the play pack fits in there perfectly. Um, the Target bag, I could probably stick it inside. Let's see. And this boogie board fits right in there, so... That's a plus because I like to have that easily accessible as well. And then my Target bag will fit right in here as well. So that's what I have packed in here. This is really good because it fits basically everything that I'm carrying in my large Lily Jade bag in a smaller bag. If I don't feel like carrying 
a really large bag. It zips up with no problem. You can see that it is packed up very well. So um, it just depends on what you want to carry. But I wanted just to show you like you don't have to carry a large bag. You can fit quite a bit of stuff in here. Um, as well as her water bottle fitting in that bottle pocket. I wanted to show you my water bottle. It is a 16 ounce corksicle water bottle that fits in there very well. This pocket I don't think would fit the water bottles with my um, snack tower in there. So um, let's see, I can take out the snack tower and put it in one of the pockets and then carry her water bottle on the other pocket. And that would work out. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the body. Um, also, really quickly, it has D-rings, so you could attach stroller straps, but I um, attached this strap just to show you. Guys, this is my Mina Bay strap from my um, Mini Kinney. It's the messenger style one, so I just wanted to show you that you could wear it over your shoulder, and it's super cute. And you can, um, if you attach a, a similar strap, you can wear it crossbody if you like as well because it has the little D rings. So I'll just show you that really quickly. That's crossbody. Sometimes I like to have my bags more in front so I can see what's going on versus backpack. Um, you don't have to attach a backpack strap. I just thought I would show you that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and unclip this really quickly just to show you what the bag looks like on. Um, I haven't adjusted the straps to my height. Like I said, I'm barely playing with it today. That's why this video is a little bit more mm, unorganized. But I figured I'd do it with you guys and show you what works and what doesn't. So this is what it looks like on. This is I am um, by five and this is what it looks like on. Super cute lightweight now I am kind of having similar issues that I had with their black mini this metal part is digging into my arm right here and it's like not comfortable obviously so I don't particularly like that I don't know what I'm gonna do to try to fix that I that's the height that I like it at so it's not like I could put it down or, or put it more up you know so I don't know I really, that would be my only con, I guess, would be that their backpack straps. This part in particular isn't too bad. It doesn't bother me that much. It's not padded or anything, and it is thin, but it doesn't feel heavy or it's not hurting me. Um, it's just that metal D-ring that's digging into my arm. So I don't know if it would be very comfortable wearing all day, um, especially very packed up. Um, maybe I'll try it out and I'll update you guys here, but Overall, I like it for the most part. I do like that they upgraded their water bottles and that, I mean, their pockets so that they're more functional. And I love their new color and it's just very pretty. So we'll see, we'll see um, how I feel about it. And like I said, if you guys want me to update on how I was wearing it for a day, um, let me know and I will totally update you guys. But um, hopefully that helps somebody understand or know a little bit better about it and know how much you can and can't fit in here there's so many other ways you can pack it up um, for your needs this is just what I had in my big bag and I just kind of wanted to see what would fit in there and what would not so um, hope this helped thank you for watching and if it's some if my channel's something that is helpful to you or that you like please go ahead and um, subscribe to my channel thanks